everybody, my name is Lauren with Synergy Skylights and Roofing. We get a lot of questions from potential customers regarding the roof replacement process, what it's like, and what they can expect on the day that their roof is replaced. So we put together a short video for you in hopes that it will help simplify and educate you on the process as you start to explore replacing your own roof. If you have any questions, please give us a call and thanks for watching our video. In the days leading up to the project, a dumpster and the roofing materials will be dropped off and this will be communicated with you ahead of time. Our team promptly arrives at 7 a.m. to begin the roof replacement process. We first unload our equipment and set up ladders to get up on your roof. We then tie off for safety and begin to prep the exterior of the home for shingle tear off. We hang large tarps at the eave or the edge of the roof that will catch the majority of the debris coming off. This also protects your siding, garden beds, bushes, and decks. Once the exterior is protected, we use roof rakes to begin removing the shingles. When we get to the bottom, we remove the tarps and start the cleanup process. Once we get the roof removed, we can assess the integrity of the roof deck. At this time, we determine if there's any damaged or rotting roof deck and replace plywood or deck boards accordingly. We then begin moving some materials to the roof and installing underlayments. This is the foundation of the roofing system. You'll see us here removing a piece of damaged plywood and replacing it with a new piece. The blue material you see being installed is called a leak barrier, also known as ice and water shield. It is installed six feet up from the eave or the edge of your roof, where the roof meets the siding or vertical wall and around all penetrations like skylights and chimneys. The rest of the roof deck is covered with a synthetic roofing felt. That's the gray material you see pictured. In this job, we're also replacing several skylights. If you're interested in understanding the skylight process, I have linked another video where we walk you through that process in depth. Once the roof is prepped with underlayments, we start bringing the shingles up to the roof. Many people are curious how we get the materials to the roof. In this case, we use a piece of equipment called a ladder hoist or a ladder vader. Before we start shingling, we install new metal drip edge along both the eaves and the rakes of the roof. Installed over the drip edge is a starter shingle. This is the first layer of adhesive and helps against wind-driven rain. The first layer of shingles will be installed over the starter shingles and not be visible when the roof is complete. The process is started at the bottom left corner of each roof plane. We flash each roof penetration like skylights, pipes, bathroom vents, and chimneys. Here's a look at how we re-lead a chimney or add new lead. The old lead is removed and we grind out the mortar for the new lead to be tucked into. The new lead is formed to the chimney and a clear waterproofing sealant is applied where the lead meets the chimney. New step flashing is installed at the base of the chimney where it meets the shingles. Once the shingles are installed, new ridge vent is installed at the peak or the ridge of the roof. Ventilation is extremely important for the overall health of the roof. Lastly, the hip and ridge caps are installed at the ridge and the hips for a nice finished look. During the process, we are constantly picking up. When we are complete, the exterior of the home gets a magnet run along both the lawn and the garden area to pick up any loose nails. It's impossible to get each and every nail. However, we pride ourselves in taking care of your home and returning it the way we found it.